let us have a formal definition. The derivative of f with respect to x denoted by f prime of x is defined to be this is the formula f prime of x equals the limit of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h as h approaches 0 provided the limit exists. Let us see this example. Find the derivative of f of x equals 3x minus x square using the definition. For our solution, let us write our formula here. And let us have the step 1 and that is to evaluate the function f of x plus h. It means considering the given function here, let us substitute x plus h to all the x that we will see in the function. So we have now f of x plus h equals the 3x here becomes 3 times the quantity x plus h minus the x square now becomes the square of the quantity x plus h. Let us simplify and we have now 3x plus 3h minus let us expand the square of x plus h into x square plus 2hx plus h square. Simplifying further by removing the grouping symbol, considering the negative sign here, and the final answer for step 1 is 3x plus 3h minus x square minus 2hx minus h square. And then step 2, solve for the derivative. Let us now substitute the corresponding value of our formula here. So we have now f prime of x equals the limit of this function f of x plus h is now the value that we solve from step 1. So we have this big polynomial we will write here minus the f of x is the given function here. So we have 3x minus x square all over h as h approaches 0. Please observe in our numerator that we can simplify by removing the grouping symbol and then we can see some terms that we can cancel. The 3x here can be cancelled with a 3x there. This negative x square here can be cancelled with a negative x square here. Now let us rewrite our limit in simplified form. So we have f prime of x equals the limit of 3h minus 2hx minus h square all over h as h approaches 0. Observe again that in our numerator there is a common factor which is h. Let us factor it out. So we have now h times the quantity 3 minus 2x minus h all over h. So we can cancel this h in the denominator and that common factor. Simplifying further, we have the limit of the quantity 3 minus 2x minus h as h approaches 0. Let us now simplify this limit 
by substituting 0 to that value of h. So we have 3 minus 2x minus 0. And the final answer is 3 minus 2x. This is the derivative that we are looking for. This is the final answer. Find the derivative of f of x equals 5x minus 2 using the definition. Let us write our formula for derivative here. And for our step 1, let us evaluate f of x plus h. Considering our function here, we are going to change every x by x plus h. So we have now the f of x plus h equals 5 times the quantity x plus h minus 2. Simplifying this, we have now 5x plus 5h minus 2. For step 2, let us now evaluate the limit formula of derivative. So we write here f prime of x equals the limit of 5x plus 5h minus 2. This comes from our step 1. And this is our f of x plus h. Then minus f of x. This is the given function, the 5x minus 2. So we write it here. All over h. As h approaches 0. Let us simplify by removing the grouping symbol of our numerator. So we have now 5x plus 5h minus 2 minus 5x plus 2. We can see that some terms in our numerator can be simplified or combined together. Look at this 5x. We have negative 5x here, so they zero out each other. The negative 2 and the plus 2 will be zero also. Writing again in simplified form, our function now becomes 5h over h. The h and the h can also cancel out. Our function now is now simplified into a constant 5. So the limit of 5 as h approaches 0 and we have our answer which is 5. This is our final answer. This is the derivative of our function. Let us see this example 2. Find the derivative of f of x equals the fraction x over x minus 1 using the definition. For our solution, we write again the limit formula of derivative. And then, our step 1 is to evaluate f of x plus h. This is equal to x plus h all over the quantity x plus h minus 1. We can simplify our fraction here by removing the grouping symbol. So we have now our new fraction here. For step 2, let us now evaluate the limit formula of derivative. So we write here f prime of x equals the limit of this f of x plus h and we copy this fraction in here minus the f of x is our given function. So we copy it in here all over h as h approaches 0. We can see that we have a complex fraction here. Let us simplify our numerator by multiplying this fraction first diagonally down here and then minus this denominator we multiply by our numerator of the second fraction 
all over the product of the two denominators. So it will be like this. While the H in here, we will flip it up and we write here times 1 over H. Now, let us simplify our numerator by multiplying the corresponding factors. So we have here x squared minus x plus hx minus h minus the quantity x squared plus hx minus x. Now let us remove the grouping symbol and let us see if we can combine some terms. So it will be like this now. Please observe that this x squared has a counterpart of negative x squared here. It becomes 0. We have negative x and positive x. It will be 0 also. The positive hx and we have this negative hx. If we remove those terms, we can simplify our fraction here into simply negative h. This negative h in our numerator now and the h in the denominator can cancel each other. So writing again our fraction, the simplified form into negative 1 all over this denominator. Now let us evaluate the limit as h approaches 0. It means we are now to substitute 0 to this value of h. Here we go. Simplifying further, we can now remove the 0 and we can see that this is now negative 1 all over x minus 1 times x minus 1. We can put the factors together using exponent. So our final answer is negative 1 over the square of x minus 1. This is the derivative of our function here. Let us see example 3. Find the derivative of f of x equals the square root of x using the definition. We have here again our formula and uh, step 1 is to evaluate f of x plus h. So we have here f of x plus h equals the square root of x plus h. Step 2, to evaluate the limit formula of derivative. So we have now f prime of x equals the limit of the square root of the quantity x plus h minus the square root of x all over h as h approaches 0. Let us now simplify our fraction here. Please remember our special product formula that a minus b times a plus b equals a square minus b square. We said that the factors here are conjugate of one another. So to simplify our fraction here, we want to remove the radical. So we are going to multiply this fraction by another fraction whose numerator and denominator is the conjugate of our numerator here. So we have to multiply this by square root of x plus h plus the square root of x. Take note, this is negative, so we write here positive. So the numerator here is the same with our denominator. When we multiply now these two big fractions in the numerator, we are going to apply our special product formula. While in the denominator, we will simply put together the two denominators. So it will be like this. The limit 
of the square of the quantity square root of x plus h minus the square of the square root of x all over the denominator is simply putting together the h and these big radicals. Now, let us cancel out the square and the radical sign. And let us write again the fraction here. So we have now the limit of x plus h minus x all over our same denominator. We can see here that in the numerator, the x minus x becomes 0. So only the h remains in our numerator. Please observe also that there is an h in our denominator. So we can cancel the h and the h respectively. Simplifying further, we can now write the limit of 1 all over the square root of the quantity x plus h plus the square root of x. Now, let us evaluate the limit as h approaches 0. Let us substitute the value 0 to our h here. So we have now 1 over the square root of x plus 0 plus the square root of x that we can show that this is equal to 1 over the square root of x plus the square root of x. We can now put together the square root of x into 1 over 2 the square root of x. This is our final answer. This is the derivative of our function here. Today, we're going to study derivative notations. Given the function y equals f of x, the following notations are used to denote its derivative. This is the first notation, and we read this as f prime of x. The second notation is here, and we read this as y prime. This is the third notation, and we read this as dy over dx. This is the fourth notation, and this is read as d over dx of f of x. Now, the derivative of f at a specific point x equals a is dy over dx with the subscript x equals a. And we further evaluate this by f prime of a. I hope you learned something from this video See you again next time.